Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Another video of Blue Screen High 8. If your tapes are going pixelated or they've got snow on them, you got to take the top off and you got to... Hold on. Watch this. Fingernail. This has been taken off, exposing the heads. So you can get your fingernail. Look at that. Brings it back. Problem is, all these tapes are deteriorating. The binder's becoming undone, which is the glue, basically, that holds the base layer of the tape and all the oxide particles and blah, 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 blah. Google it. Have a look. It explains everything. But look, there it goes again. Look, which of this? It's going to happen. Yep, there it goes. All this. Okay, it's happening. The blue screen again, it's back. And then you gotta get your fingernail and you gotta have it right in the middle. You gotta listen and you gotta feel for it, not too hard. You can hear it. And I gotta have the, these problem tapes out of a 40 tape job, there's six of them that are just nothing but issues. And they're all this TDKs, no, Maxell's fine, these. The biggest problem, Sony videotapes. I mean, they've all got their quirks and issues, but these metal particulate MPs, look, this, reliability, uh, yeah, bullshit. Um, <laughs> well, 1993, so that's 32 years old, okay? Everyone thinking their tapes are holding up and it's just, you know, every video transfer, six bucks, getting them all back and they all look like shite or you've prepaid as so many people prepaid do not prepay it for anything because they just take your money six months later give you all your stuff back with stickers on them saying they've all gone to shit and then your credit card company's like you made this purchase six months ago no wait, 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 i just got my stuff back no 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 you're shit out of luck unfortunately all of these tapes, don't believe me? Go to Google, type in videotape oxidation, videotape shelf life. This is all happening. I seem to be one of the only people that is screaming from the hilltops. <laughs> and is actually taking the time to MacGyver this stuff and figure things out. And you know, this isn't, this is all well documented. Not only with the degrading, but also like all these little hacks and everything and the time it takes to make sure all this stuff is done correctly. I just looked over, I've got a couple here that I've got the lids off. See, look, this is jumping. Oh shit, the picture just went on that one. Look, I've got the lids off, look. You can hear it. Actually, the tape might be done. See, in the way that you know that there's no more footage on it, if you hit the fast forward button and it doesn't go all black and jumpy and, and staticky and everything, there's no more footage on it. If it's just solid blue, perfect blue, while you're hitting fast forward, there is no more footage on it, okay? I just looked over here. Oh, that just went. There we go. It's all of the oxide depositing on the video heads. This is constant in 2025. So I've managed to recapture all of this stuff. I couldn't even, look, there we go. Like, beginning bit. I'm gonna edit all this so it's all clean and tidy. All these different pieces I've put together. I can hear that one go in. Back over here, clean the head. Even if the picture's still looking good, I still tap it every minute just because it, it's building up as the head's spinning. Like this is okay right now, but you don't wanna wait for it to go to crap. There might be a momentary glitch in it, but. That's just the price that you got to, people are going to pay <laughs> to know that there's somebody monitoring their stuff. So I've done a lot of videos today. Look, this is three clips here. I've got to edit all those together. Yes, Elgato, for the trolls out there, people want to get smart and smarmy in the comments. And you should be doing AI 4K restoration with a bit, bit, bit. No, 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 no. This is the basics, okay? So, you know, move out of your parents' basement. Go start your own business and then you'll soon realize what an absolute pain in the ass all of this stuff is nowadays. Um, yep, that one's going. I can hear the other one going. I just heard a little glitch. Oh, for f This is what you got to do. Look. 
There it goes. Look, watch this. You can hear it. You, this is what you gotta listen for with your fingernail, okay? Yeah, you can run cleaning tapes. They're a hundred bucks each from Japan. We've gotta make sure they're sealed. It's a band-aid, you know, a nice little stop. But listen, hold on, wait. Turn your volume up, and this is what you wanna hear. Come in from your fingernail. That noise, and you know you've got. So you've got to keep the noise up and the noise. Because as soon as you hear the audio go, see, this is starting to. Yeah, it's gone again there. Yeah, this is. There it goes. And you might be doing the fingernail thing on yours and, and all that stuff. But if you're, if the head is worn, like all of my machines have, you know, the heads are constantly replaced um, because they do wear. Anyone in the video transfer industry, they're just, but just wearing the hell out of the heads and not replacing them. So even if there's like a uh, video footage, you know, and they're like, oh, I've done the fingernail method and we'll come back. That doesn't mean anything because I could put this same tape on five different players in here and all varying stages of worn heads these have got newer heads on them so they're more stronger they're more picking up more of a signal so they're less susceptible to to you know just worn out tape worn tape not worn tapes because people think worn out tapes oh i've only played my tapes once in 35 years you know i haven't played them tons of times because everyone thinks oh you're wearing it out as you play it no that's not absolutely nothing to do with it you could have never touched these tapes in their life it is all about organic deterioration of the chemicals the particles the tape binders which is the glue and some here we go right here and some brands or some models of tapes were worse than others they all use different chemicals during the time span oh we got this new thing it'll be higher grade quality picture but it's on the cutting edge untested formulations of ingredients and therefore you know they didn't test this for longevity look the audio's gone right here um hold I'm just constantly going back and forth because I took this tape to the extreme in the players on the other side. So I've got notifications on my, all my players when the heads are um, changed out, replaced. I've got um, this right here. I put a little white thing on the bottom where I know that it's got a newer head in it and I pull those out for these problem tapes. Um, picture just went on that. There we go. I know, the things I see. And if it goes completely blue, that means you can't just tap it with your fingernail. You gotta get, leave it on there for a while. Well, some are worse than others. I've already baked these for 10 hours, by the way. what it's all about i can't get anything else done when i got these problem tapes and all the tapes are kind of problems yeah there's back again these are fucking awful and people go wait a minute you you did this six dollars a tape and you're you're working you want money like do you understand why companies are just churning out trash and instead of them fixing them their problems, they're like, let's just shut that Phil guy if got memories up. Because he's exposing everything that's going on with these tapes. And it isn't so much the tapes, it's the, it's the players. The tapes are the problem. They're infecting the players. It's a prime example right here. Look at this. I mean, it's just non-stop. Look. Gone. Blue screen again. You can hear the audio, then the audio goes...
I mean, I might as well just sit here all day with my fingernail on it. And then, where my fingernail at? Look, you can see, <laughs> I've got like a black, <laughs> black indent. Oh, I've got like a, a, a groove in my fingernails. Um, oh God. Anyway, that's that. I, I'm kind of out of words today. Um, if you would like me to to get a quote, let me go again. To get a quote, uh, gotmemories.com. You've got to take an overhead picture, clear overhead picture of all your tapes out of the cases. Window side up like this, the whole collection, so I can see the brand of tape, the condition. I'm looking for mold. I'm looking for weathering. People tell me, oh, I've got my stuff. It's been stored perfectly. No, it hasn't. Um, but these tapes have been stored perfectly. They're in really good shape physically. You wouldn't, you know, know that, oh, they're in great shape. I don't know. I need to see the brand because some of these brands are fucking atrocious. Look at this. Been going for 12 minutes. Only another, uh, one hour, 48. No, two hours, three minutes if it's full. I mean, my God. To me, this is why it's hard for me to do this. If this was my home movies, I'd be like, oh my God, I got like two minutes of this thing. I'm done. I'm good. But when it's not your stuff, you don't know the importance of what this is. So you have to do what you've got to do because they're like, oh no, where's that one bit of the one bit of the grandpa with the blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh. It's just endless shite. I know. I mean, not to demean people's home memories, but sometimes. <laughs> I mean, this literally needs fingernail on it, like constant. This one. See, even though this one's going good, I'm still going to put my fingernail on it just because there's build up. Oh, no, I just screwed up. Oh, well. See? There we go, it's back. Oh, now that one's gone again. <laughs> anyway, apologize for the mess here. This is, you know, this is my workspace. This is where everything's done. Normally everything's lit up, but it is Sunday, a quiet day where I can get things done. And then the boys are in here and like, but it's just like, I'm so, I want to go for a run. Look at you. Mm, good boy. You alive? Hello? Oh, there you go. Hey, bubs. Oh, they keep me sane, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel you. All right, godmemories.com. If you think, oh, you think this is, if you're searching around for the cheapest price and you're thinking, oh, this is, you know, reasonably priced. It is going to be an expense. You are hiring somebody with integrity, pride, passion, and knows what the hell's going on. Has got perseverance and a heart and a head. You know, there aren't many of us out there. It's like hiring a good attorney, a good lawyer. You know, like if you're in legal trouble, you're going to like hire somebody that's just throwing up a Facebook ad and fresh out of law school, you know, talking a good game. No, you're going to be hiring like, give me the guy. <laughs> I need the best guy. I need the Johnny, the Johnny Cochran. Um, it's something that, yeah, I don't know if that's a good analogy or not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be wearing a groove in the, uh, carpet here. And, uh, this ain't going to get any cheaper. So if you think, oh, I'll just put this off till next year. Yeah. Stuff is not like wine. It is not getting better with age. It is getting incrementally worse. 20 years ago, did not see these problems. Nowadays, it's nonstop. Look, blue screen again. Yeah, good times. Anyway, cheers.